Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. The tape measure is one of those everyday tools that we often take for granted. Whether you're a carpenter, a tailor, a DIY enthusiast, or simply someone who's trying to figure out if that new couch will fit through the door, the tape measure is indispensable. But how did this simple, flexible strip of marked material become such a vital part of our lives? The history of the tape measure is a fascinating journey of innovation, craftsmanship, and problem solving that stretches back hundreds of years, long before it became the modern tool we recognize today. To understand the tape measure's origins, we need to go back to a time when measuring was more rudimentary. Ancient civilizations, such as the Egyptians and Romans, relied on body parts for measurement. The cubit, for example, was based on the length of the forearm, and the foot was literally the length of a man's foot. While these units were practical in the context of daily life, they were not standardized, leading to inconsistencies particularly in large-scale construction projects like the pyramids or aqueducts. As societies grew more complex and their architectural and engineering demands increased, the need for more accurate and reliable measurement tools became evident. However, it wasn't until much later in history that a tool resembling the modern tape measure would come into existence. The first real leap toward a more standardized and portable measuring device began with the development of the folding ruler. The folding ruler, popularized in the 17th and 18th centuries, was made of wood or brass and consisted of several hinged segments. When folded, it was compact and portable, but when extended, it provided a straight, rigid measuring tool. While more consistent than body part-based measurements, the folding ruler had its limitations. For one, it was rigid, which made it difficult to measure curved or awkwardly shaped objects. Furthermore, its length was restricted to the number of segments, often limited to about 6 to 10 feet. Despite its drawbacks, the folding ruler was a valuable tool for craftsmen and surveyors of the time. The real breakthrough came in the 19th century, when the need for a more flexible, longer, and portable measuring tool became apparent, particularly in the fields of carpentry and tailoring. The first iterations of flexible tape measures were developed in Europe. These early tapes were often made of cloth or linen, which made them lightweight and easy to carry. However, cloth tapes had their own set of issues, primarily because they would stretch over time, leading to inaccurate measurements. This was particularly problematic in professions like tailoring, where precision was key. To combat this issue, manufacturers began incorporating woven metal threads into the cloth to reduce stretching. While this improved durability, these early tape measures were still not the most reliable or user-friendly. The true transformation of the tape measure occurred in the mid-19th century with the introduction of steel as a primary material. In 1864, a man named Alvin J. Fellows from New Haven, Connecticut, patented what is widely considered the first modern tape measure. Fellows' design incorporated a flat, retractable steel tape housed in a small portable case. What set this tape measure apart from previous designs was the inclusion of a spring mechanism, which allowed the tape to be easily retracted into its casing when not in use. This made the tool not only more durable and accurate, but also incredibly convenient. The retractable feature meant that users could extend the tape as needed and quickly rewind it without the hassle of folding or rolling up a cloth strip. Though Fellow's invention was groundbreaking, it took some time for the tape measure to catch on with the general public. At the time, most craftsmen were still accustomed to using their trusty folding rulers, and the idea of switching to a new tool was met with some resistance. Furthermore, early steel tape measures were expensive to produce and thus to purchase. It wasn't until the late 19th and early 20th centuries, as manufacturing techniques improved and the cost of steel decreased, that the tape measure became more affordable and accessible. During this time, 
various innovations were added to the design, such as marking the tape with both metric and imperial units, making it more versatile and appealing to a global market. The 20th century saw the tape measure evolve even further with improvements in materials, durability, and ease of use. As the Industrial Revolution progressed and new materials like aluminum and plastics became available, manufacturers began experimenting with different designs and features. One notable innovation was the introduction of the lock mechanism, which allowed users to extend the tape to a desired length and lock it in place, preventing it from retracting while measurements were taken. This small but significant improvement made the tape measure even more user-friendly and practical, particularly for those working alone on a project. Another key development during this period was the switch from flat steel tapes to curved steel tapes. The curvature of the tape allowed it to extend outwards unsupported for several feet, making it possible to measure longer distances single-handedly without needing a second person to hold the other end. One of the companies that played a pivotal role in popularizing the tape measure during the 20th century was the Stanley Works. Founded in 1843, Stanley originally manufactured hardware and tools, but in the early 1900s, the company began producing tape measures. Their design innovations, combined with their aggressive marketing, helped the tape measure become a staple in toolboxes across the world. In particular, Stanley's power lock tape measure, introduced in the 1960s, became an industry standard. Its durable case, reliable locking mechanism, and compact design made it a favorite among professionals and hobbyists alike. To this day, the Stanley Power Lock is one of the best-selling tape measures in history. The evolution of the tape measure didn't stop in the 20th century. In recent years, the tool has continued to evolve in response to new technology and user demands. For instance, digital tape measures have gained popularity in the 21st century. These devices combine traditional tape measures with digital displays, allowing users to read measurements with precision. Some digital tape measures even have Bluetooth capabilities, enabling them to sync with smartphones and other devices for easy data transfer and measurement recording. Additionally, laser distance measurers, which can calculate distances using laser technology, have become a popular alternative for those needing to measure longer distances with extreme accuracy. While laser measurers lack the tactile simplicity of a traditional tape measure, they offer unparalleled precision and convenience for specific applications, such as surveying or architectural work. Today, the tape measure remains a symbol of practical ingenuity. From its humble beginnings as a strip of cloth or steel, to its modern digital and laser-enhanced forms, it has stood the test of time as an essential tool across a wide range of professions. Its evolution is a testament to human innovation, continuously adapting and improving upon a simple concept to meet the ever-changing demands of the world. While newer technologies may offer alternatives, the classic tape measure, with its compact design, flexibility, and ease of use, is likely to remain a fixture in toolboxes for generations to come. In conclusion, the tape measure is more than just a tool for measuring lengths and distances. It represents a broader story of invention, adaptation, and the pursuit of precision. As industries grew and technology advanced, so too did the tools we use. The tape measure, with its simple yet effective design, continues to evolve, but its core function remains the same, to help us measure, build, and shape the world around us. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, you now have a clearer understanding of the evolution of tape measure. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content. Stay safe out there, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.